Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video. I'm working on a full double page 6x8 layout. These are all photos from Portland. This is from a dinner we had at a place called Jinx. We just went online, looked to see what was then about a mile radius of us. This came up, had good reviews, so we figured, all right, we'll walk up there, we'll try it. And it turned out to be probably one of the best meals we had. So it was a good decision. And if you look at this photo here, you'll see there's some interesting things on it. And then we happened to find this in a different store in the area and decided, well, we should each get one because that goes with the restaurant stuff we saw. So I have that. It needs to go in here. So I have to find a four by six background, which I don't have. And then as you can see, the rest of this is pretty full. This is actually a flip. And I've already picked out this card because I think it goes well with my dessert photo, which has peaches on it. And these look like oranges and peaches to me. So I want to use it. And it even says the sweet taste of vacation. So how perfect is that? So I have those already. And I thought originally I might have another pocket over here because I feel like I want journaling space. But I think what's probably going to happen is, is I'll put this to one side or the other and then whatever background I have I'll have to fit in some journaling there so that's my best guess as I start but you never know what might happen I have pulled out my envelope of ephemera and embellishment type stuff that I thought might work for stuff in Portland and I know I have some food things in here I just don't remember exactly what they are <laughs> but I have them in there and then I was looking at this trying to figure out well what color do I even want for background here I'm thinking either a very light yellow to match this or a lighter green because I've got that happening little bits in several places and I think those would be the best there's a lot of sort of black and white happening already so I really don't want to go that way and because of this I think it needs a pop of color in the back so I'm thinking the light yellow or the green so I think the first thing I'm actually going to do before anything else is to go through my just generic patterned four by six cards that I've cut as fillers just to see is there anything in here that might work with what I've got going. Half the time I don't even remember what I've got in here because it's like oh I've got a little chunk of this piece of paper left I'll just throw it in here if it's a four by six and then I forget what's in there because it's a pretty pretty big stack so I'll go through it and see what I find. Sadly, I didn't find a lot in there. I found two things. One is more for the color. The other works for color and journaling. So this is the first one where I love the color. I think that this particular shade of green would look really good with that. But I don't like the stripes. It's a little too wild, especially with this. Like, it's very distracting. I don't think that's a good option. But I love the color. So I'll see if I can maybe match that to something else that I have. And then this was the only other one I found where I could use it as is. I could journal right on top of it. It looks good with this. It would be okay. Actually, you know what? Now that I look at it, I think I'd go this way. Some more of that yellow shows. But this isn't. This color isn't too far off from the table and the brick and stuff. So I think maybe I could do it. Um, I like it, but I don't know that I love it. So I'm going to keep looking. I think what I'm actually going to do is go into my 4x6 journaling cards and just see, is there anything that's an actual journaling card with lines and stuff that might work here in these colors, but not be distracting? In the stack of actual journaling color cards, I found two that might work. Once again, I'm not totally in love with either one of them, but they might be functional. So here's this one. That yellow is darker than what I was thinking, but I like that it says loving these moments. This doesn't really go, but I can cover that up with my sticker here. The moments will still show, and I kind of like that. That it's a little bit different, but it leaves me a little bit of room to journal. So it's an option. And then this one, same kind of thing. It gives me lots of room to journal, but I don't like what it says here, but I could cover it up. And at least this yellow is a little bit closer. It's not more the gold tone like this is. It's a little bit lighter. And there's almost maybe even a little greenish tint in there. So it certainly wouldn't distract from this. And I have lots of journaling room. I'm just sadly not in love with any of these three. And I found nothing in green to 
match this. Now I could go into just my scraps of stuff and maybe cut down a four by six. Honestly, I don't know that I want to put in that much energy <laughs> when I've got options here that will work, but we'll see. I did end up going into my green scraps. I didn't find anything that was a close match to what I had that I like, so that's not happening. So it's going to be one of these three, but I'm frustrated with it. So I'm going to take a little break from that. I'm going to take out all this stuff, see what I have in here that's food related. I also have a whole bin of other food related stuff that I could pull out and match if I wanted to. So I'll go into that stuff, dig into it and see what I can find there instead. Okay, I found multiple things in there that I wanna use. I have this honker piece of ephemera, but I love it and there's green in it. But in order to use it, I would have to make this pocket into a flip instead of this one, but it could be done. So I'm not counting it out. I'm going to, I'm going to consider it because like right here, I like how that looks together. I like the mix of those colors. So we'll see. Found this. This is just kind of gray. That doesn't really go, but it's a neutral. So who knows? I also found this that says local food. There is kind of an orangey tint happening. I could maybe work that in. And then I have these two very different pieces of wood veneer. This one says favorite restaurant. This one says here for the food. And I think this probably was my favorite restaurant where we went the whole week. I'm tempted to work that in somewhere. The brown, again, isn't too far off from the wood that's in here. So I have a nice mix of stuff. I'm just gonna play around and see what I can do. Okay, I think I figured out a plan. I'm actually not going to use this. I'll save that for something else. That goes away. Not going to use this card either. But I am gonna switch it. I'm gonna have this be a flip and this one not. So I think this will be my top card with that to bring in all the green that's in there it will flip this way and then on here will be these two with the dessert and actually maybe i'll switch these there we go then i'll have that and then in here under the flip as the last thing kind of that you see when it opens will be this and my journaling i think that will work out fine then i have this and I think because I have such a large embellishment thing happening here, it's going to have to be up top. So I think it's either going to be over here or here somewhere. Can't be on the bottom. That's too much happening on the bottom row. So it's got to be up here somewhere. All right. I have these all attached here. And for this one, it was slightly larger than the card. So in order to get it to fit, I did have to cut off little bits, but I think it's still fine and it gives me lots of room to journal. But I think that I need to stamp something. It feels blank. So I think maybe right up here or maybe overlapping part of the yellow and the white, something in there, it feels blank. I'm also considering doing something here. Could leave it too. I mean, I don't know, but I just feel like it's kind of blank I'm not sure so I have that and then I still have to figure out where to put this but I've at least grabbed out all of my food related stamps here so I'm going to open up my container and find something fun so over on this card I have decided I'm going to stamp because I found a really small one that I think might be good here I like this one that just says calories don't count because <laughs> this definitely had a lot of calories in it but I didn't care I ate it because it was delicious I did the stamping on the card. It came out great. I love it. And just for reference, this particular stamp set is from Citrus Twist. So for up here, I think I'm going to use this label, only about half, maybe less than half even, hanging over the edge to bring in some of that green that I have going. And I'm going to stamp, but I'm only going to use this one that says eat local. I'm only going to do the phrase. So I'll have to use a marker to do that because I don't want the outside geotag to show, but I should be able to do that, no problem. And then I think I'm going to take this wood veneer and lay it where I had it there and just do that in the middle. I think with the other green up here the colors will go okay because there's green here so that having that wood color won't be a distraction I did my stamping and let me tell you <laughs> that was a tough one because both of those L's are very close to the edge of the geotag they kind of run right into it so I had to be very very careful and this one cut off a tiny little bit but I'm not going to mess with it I'm just going to leave it 
the whole left side is done now. So there's my stamping. I attach the tag. This is glued on. That's all that is needed over here because it's so busy. On this side, I have all of this done, but I felt like it was blank up here. So I had this little end of a black tag that I had cut off. I think I'm going to use that up here. And then I know I have green stars, puffy stickers, I think, from Ellie Studio. So I'm gonna go in and see if I can find one that's a similar color to this green and just attach it there. And then hopefully this one is done. I have attached the clipped off piece of tag there. And then I do have these stars, whoops, from Ellie's Studio. And I'm thinking this middle green one is the best. This is a little bit too lime or neon, I think. Maybe that one is better. Well, maybe now when I hold it up, maybe not. Maybe I should go with this one. You know what? I'll try it and see. And I think I want the medium. Yep. The smallest one is too little. This one's way too big. So if I just kind of hang it over like that, maybe. Oh, I'd still have room for a staple in there. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks good. Okay, let's put a staple in since I have some room. Actually, you know what? I could move it up and go a little bit over the star even. It will go through there, or it should. Just like right at the top. Oh, it didn't. Hmm, all right. Well, then maybe it's going to get left that way. Let's see how I feel about it. You know what? I think it's okay that way. So now all I have left to do is just attach the pocket. All right, I've attached the flip pocket here and I did decide to do one more thing. I actually pulled out some green washi. I decided to go with this pattern and I added a little bit right here. I just felt like it needed some kind of definition between the two parts since I ended up not stamping. But otherwise, this one is now complete. So here's another one finished for Portland. Thanks for watching.